What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another 126 Foot Draft Challenge. Today is the day that I feel like we crack it in a challenge rather than in a drafting until. And we're starting off with a very good formation, the 4 3 2 1. And our captains. Hey, do you know what? 94 Messi to be chilling on the bench is really, really good do you want to be able to afford players that you can get in draft if so visit u7 buy to buy your foot 23 coins they are cheap fast and reliable and make sure to use my code nep at checkout for six percent off and uh even though the premier league team of the season is in now draft is is now in drafts they're not really popping out too much but overall it feels like the general quality of draft is a little bit higher with older promo cards that are higher rated getting pushed in more often. And that has been confirmed by a 96 and a 95 and an 88 to accompany the 94 Messi on the bench. These centre midfielders are really going to dictate how well this first draft goes. Suso from La Liga is always a nice pick. Gavi or Llorente. And we're going to go with Gavi because there's lots of Barcelona players that are nice and high rated. And we're also going to get team of the season kevin de bruyne oh. give me that 91 left back joao cancelo wow you know what hernandez works quite nicely because of milito and being french so many good links what do we want to do here mancini gets the italian link it leaves us one Serie A player or manager away from full chem or Mancini and then a French player or manager away. And then Bremer, also the same, but with Brazilians. Let's go Brazilian. I know Bremer has a team of the season as well. Oh, no, wait, it's Danilo that has a team of the season. He's 89 rated. That would be great for chemistry, but 94, Eder Militao, also Brazilian, also great for chemistry. This draft is genuinely cracked out. We are going to take Dodo in there, my bro, bro. And other than getting De Bruyne out, we could put David Soria in, which leaves us one the league of player or manager. Oh, this draft is huge. This draft is huge. All right. Our first substitute goalkeeper is going to be Chesney. Chesney takes us up one chem point in the immediate term. Galan actually makes a little bit of sense to take over Guerrero. Just because... We're now just a La Liga player in that centre midfield role around, away from everybody having full chemistry. And we still get Hernandez on the bench. That's not what we want. We'll take Lucas Bathkeff in there. That's what we want. The Frenchman Camavinga, which also now allows us to put Hernandez back on the bench and leaves us needing a La Liga manager to get full chem with this as a setup or no La Liga manager to get this as the full chem setup. That's amazing because now it is just rating. And of course, if we can improve the rating on the starting 11, that would be even better. But if we can't and we can only improve the rating on the bench, that still could be good enough. We're just going to need some huge players here at EA. We're only 90 rated at the moment, but we've got some stinkers on the bench. Not going to give it to us, is it? 87 Tadic over Bathketh. 91. We're never going to get there. We're never going to get there. 94 Johan Cruyff. And it's a 93 Philippe Lahm. It doesn't lose us any chemistry. We're still just a La Liga manager away. Oh my days. 
now we are Syria manager away. I think we've got a better chance of a La Liga manager. Come on, EA. Yes, please. It's not a 126, but it is a 125, which of course took us so long to get and is an absolutely outstanding start for our 126 draft challenge today because what an absolute cracker of a draft that is. And it's not even. In the starting lineup, we have got an 84, an 85, an 87, and an 88. And the bench isn't that good, which really makes me think that the 126 is, is definitely on the cards. Let's get into attempt number two. All right, guys, attempt number two. This time we've got the 3 4 2 1. Let's see what we can do with this. We're going to start with 97 Zinedine Zidane, which is amazing. Ibala next up. Come on, give us another big boy. Let me know it's on. Let me know it's on. Oh, yeah. It's on. 95 Del Piero, accompanied by 88 Diego Forlan. This is a nice draft. We'll take the 91 Gabriel Martinelli. Lots of Premier League tots to link him to. We'll take the 88 Bukayo Saka. Obviously, those Arsenal links are quite nice. And we'll take the 89 Park Ji Sung for the chemistry. But this one doesn't even have 125 vibes. This one has like 121 vibes. Do you know what I mean? We can't even get the better version of Varane, but we're still going to have to take him. 95 Maldini. Team of the season, Ramsdale. Okay. It's 91 rated with some really low rated cards in there. 89 trap for the first goalkeeper choice. 91 Lucio's got to be the play over the 92 David Alaba. Obviously gets the chemistry. We just need a centre forward, which will be an icon most likely in a Premier League icon or hero centre mid. We've got 91 James for the bench. Wow. That's a shame. Pires doesn't even really upgrade Martinelli. Cout doesn't upgrade Saka, nor does Donovan. Bentancur has to be the guy. Not the best rate in there, but if we got a chance of that chemistry, he has to be the guy. All right, now we're cooking. 95, Marcus Rashford for the bench. Nine, oh my days, 96 Pele for that centre forward spot. And we are now just... A Premier League or French player or manager away from full chem. And it's 91 rated. And this draft again is huge. Give me five good reserves, EA. Don't let me down. You're letting me down, aren't you? All right. 87 Edda Militao is okay. It's an upgrade. Not a big one, but it's an upgrade. 80, 94 and back. This is going to be another, at the very least, 92 rated. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Just kidding. 91 Bobby Firmino. I think I'm about to get back to back 125s, guys. If we get French or a Premier League manager, it's another 125. There you go. Job done. That is back to back. It took me over 100 drafts to get a 125 initially. And now we just got back to back 125s. That's amazing. Let's get into attempt number three. All right, guys. Here we go. Man, may maybe. Maybe. Maybe the 126 is genuinely on the cards. We will start with. 91 Benarama because there's not much else you could do in a left mid spot. We will take 92 Robert Levin Godski. I don't want to take 88 Erling Haaland. It needs to be that team of the season or team of the year to make it worthwhile. We'll put Brace Mendes in there to link with Lewa. We'll put Koke in there as well to link with the uh, La Liga players. 
not happening. We've got the Inter boys though with Lukaku and Barella. Yeah. Zinchenko and Robertson team of the season. But Hernandez can go into that left mid spot. Kerrer with the West Ham link. Damn, we're getting some club links in here. Oh, Ake. Ake makes the most sense. Ake makes the most sense. Actually, Kunde probably made the most sense, but... I'm going to put Trent Alexander-Arnold in there as well. And we're going to go with... Uh, going to go with Edison. Come on. Team of the season. Ramsdale. Take DeMarcos, but doesn't really fit. Does fit, and then he doesn't fit at the same time. Same with Nacho. Like, we've got to, we've got to kind of, like, commit to another league. And that's going to be the Premier League. And La Liga. This is still quite a nice draft. It's not going to be like the hugest draft, that's for sure. Let's go and pop Trent back in there, actually. I think Edison, does that help us? No. What do we need? Striker needs to come out. Can't do it for Cantona. 93 Rodrigo. Damn, this draft, it's not going to be like the best draft in terms of uh, the on-field draft, but the bench is crazy. The rating is going to be very good. It's Yeah, it's just not... The bench is outrageous, to be fair. And if this was a draft that we just put together to play with and, and I did my typical forget chemistry kind of situation, this draft is absurd. The players that we've got available... This isn't even including Rodrigo. Do you know what? We'd put Cantona in centre midfield. This is a crazy draft. Obviously, it's not a crazy draft for chemistry. It's not even a 92 rated draft, but that would be an insane draft to play with. However, this is the 126 challenge. So let's get into our fourth and final attempt. The fourth and final attempt for today. We get another 3 4 2 1. Let's go. Come on, EA. Hook it up, man. We will start with Garincha. So we're going to have to start with Ronaldo. I just don't want to put a right wing in that right mid spot and take away like a big player here. Do you know what I mean? We're going to go with uh, Madison there. We're going to go. We're going to feed the Premier League beast on this one. And with that, we will take Mahalo Mudrik as well. Only Tadic needs to come out for a Premier League player. But of course, so many icon centre forwards. Most likely we'll get at least one, maybe like another Landon Donovan or something like that um, to, to fill in that gap. This does not have even... Again, like you can kind of tell almost instantly, even if you're going to get like a 1-2-4 or a 1-2-5, and this just doesn't have that vibe. The Nilo team of the season goes in. Laporte goes in. Give me uh, Ruben Dish, please. We've got the 88 Varane. Oh, should have taken the 89. My bad. That's, that's my bad. Um, yeah, should have taken the 89 Fofana there and saved the ability to get the 94 Varane. 90 rated off the jump, which isn't the worst. Jose Saar in goal gives Kem Bosch up to 25. Take Delict for the rating. Although, same as Danilo, I suppose. We will take Bobby Moore for the rating and for the chemistry here. That gets up to 29. And it's just Tadic, basically, that we need to uh, need to replace. 
at this point. We'll go with Uribe for the bench. Not, it's not happening, is it? Eighty nine Tiago is a nice, uh, nice upgrade on Joao Moutinho. A really nice upgrade, actually. Even the season, Benz can come on in as well. Even though he doesn't, again, we can get one French link, which is good. But it's not going to be full chem. We definitely need the, uh, yeah, there you go. That's what we needed. We definitely need the icon card. And now it is just a Premier League manager or a Ukrainian manager away from full chemistry. We are 90 rated. But the problem with a draft like this, as always, is the bench is quite high it's the starting lineup that's not the best so unless we get like one for one replacements for the starting lineup or just huge players for the bench we're never really going to be able to upgrade this team and as you can see one for one replacements and huge upgrades for the bench are just not coming with two picks to go with one pick to go with no more picks to go. Do we even get this to a 1-2-4? Only if we get a Premier League manager. Which we did. So, I'll tell you something though, guys. I can't remember what the last draft was. It was dead. A 1-2-4 and two 1-2-5s is phenomenal drafting today. So, GG to me. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. For now, I'm out. Peace.